Hi everyone, and welcome to Pathway to Tech. Today we are going to highlight some new features on the new iPhone 15 series. Every new iPhone released in the last few years may have seemed like an incremental improvement, with a somewhat better camera here and marginally improved performance there. However, the new iPhone 15 series from Apple is getting a few once-in-a-decade upgrades that set them apart from a sea of iPhones with aesthetically similar designs. A new iPhone 15, iPhone 15 Plus, iPhone 15 Pro, and iPhone 15 Pro Max have some new key features. The new iPhone, from the addition of USB-C to the elimination of the infamous notch. Every new iPhone has a new port. The lightning charging port has served its purpose for 11 years, but now it must retire. It has been replaced by USB-C, a reversible charging port that may be found in Apple MacBooks, iPads, Android phones, Windows computers, and a wide range of other devices. The universal connector, as it is frequently referred to, has the main advantage that most of your devices may now be recharged using the same cable. The new port gives the ability for quicker data transfer. Apple is limiting the data transmission speeds for the basic iPhone 15 and iPhone 15 Plus to the existing 480 megabits per second, though. If you upgrade to an iPhone 15 Pro model, USB 3 capability enables speeds of up to 10 gigabits per second. A braided, color-coordinated USB-C to USB-C cable is included by the manufacturer, although it can only transfer data at the standard 480 megabits per second rate. You'll need to purchase your own strong cable if you want to maximize the Pro model's capabilities. Unfortunately, Apple made no mention of faster charging, despite the fact that USB-C might have made it possible. The official charging speed is still set as 20 watts on the company's specs website. Since 2015, Apple has been upgrading many of its own products to use USB-C, but the iPhone has been the longest holdout because the company has been charging licensing fees for the Lightning port. However, the European Union determined last year that by the end of 2024, USB-C must be a standard on all new phones, tablets, and cameras. As a result, we are where we are today. The Dynamic Island, which was initially released and limited to the iPhone 14 Pro models from the previous year, is now present on all four of the new iPhone models in addition to USB-C. The TrueDepth selfie camera is housed in the pill-shaped cutout at the top of the display. The infamous notch, which made its debut on the iPhone X, is gone. However, as implied by its name, the dynamic island is adaptable and functions much like a second screen. The Uber driver's arrival time will be displayed on the dynamic island while you are waiting for a ride. Without ever opening an app, you may view passive data including alarms, timers, flight information, and live sports game scores. Both the 6.1-inch and 6.7-inch iPhone 15 models are the same size as their forerunners. They are available in pink, yellow, green, blue, and black. The only significant differences between these two variants are the Dynamic Island and USB-C. Even while practically every other phone at their pricing has panels with a smoother, more fluid 120Hz refresh rate, they still only have 60Hz OLED screens. They have the exact same A16 chipset as the iPhone 14 Pro versions from a year ago, and they've also swiped the 48-megapixel primary camera from the Pro, allowing them to take more detailed pictures than ever before. Most features of the 12-megapixel ultra-wide camera remain the same. You should anticipate nicer images overall because Apple, as usual, has revealed upgrades to its photonic computational photography engine. However, time will tell. To make the Pro versions more deserving of the name, Apple has kept many more enhancements for them. They are equipped with the brand new A17 Pro chipset, which boasts 2x faster neural engine processing speed and performance cores that are 10% faster. According to Apple, the graphics processor unit underwent the biggest redesign in the history of Apple GPUs, resulting in a 20% speed increase over the model it replaces. Claims that this new GPU supports hardware-accelerated ray tracing, which is 4x quicker, and can produce more detailed scenes in mobile games while using less power. As a result of this, Apple claims that games like Resident Evil
Village, a console title, can be played on the iPhone 15 Pro, and that future titles like Assassin's Creed Mirage would have an iPhone version in addition to their console and PC counterparts. It will be interesting to observe how these AAA titles' fidelity compares to that of their platform equivalents. The 120Hz promotion screen is still included with the Pro, but Apple has improved the appearance by reducing the bezels surrounding the screen and, more critically, by including a titanium frame. The titanium 6.1-inch iPhone 15 Pro and 6.7-inch iPhone 15 Pro Max are now significantly lighter and more robust than the stainless steel models, which should make the latter simpler to use with one hand. The addition of a periscope zoom camera, which is reserved only for the iPhone 15 Pro Max variant, is the major new camera update here. The Google Pixel 7 Pro from last year utilizes a 5x optical periscope zoom camera, and Samsung has a 10x optical zoom camera in its Galaxy Ultra phones for a few years. Here, Apple says it enables 5x optical zoom, allowing you to capture subjects at a distance in high quality. The smaller iPhone 15 Pro is, sadly, still stuck at 3x zoom. The action button is a further Pro model only special. If this word seems familiar, it's because Apple used it to describe the additional customizable button on the Apple Watch Ultra. On the iPhone, though, it's taking the place of the traditional mute switch that has been on every iPhone since 2007. This button can be programmed to perform certain tasks, such as muting the phone, activating the flashlight, or snapping an open camera photo. Throughout its September event, Apple emphasized sustainability and declared that it would stop using leather for its device cases and straps. It said that it would gradually phase out leather in favor of recycled and plant-based resources and introduced a new sustainable fabric technology called Finewoven. The iPhone 15 and iPhone 15 Plus start at 128GB, respectively. The iPhone 15 Pro stays at 128GB to start, but the iPhone 15 Pro Max starts at 256GB of storage. Thank you for tuning in and remember to subscribe to my channel.